Debug view in Google Analytics 4 is a vital feature that allows you to troubleshoot incoming events. But what if it does not work? In this video, I will show you how to troubleshoot and fix it. First, you need to understand how to enable debug view, because if you just go to admin and debug view and you haven't done anything specific, you will just keep seeing no devices and no data there. So there are mainly three ways how to start seeing data in the debug view. If you're using Google Tag Manager to install Google Analytics and to manage tracking codes, then the easiest way would be to go to Google Tag Manager, click Preview. This will open in a new tab or in a new window, then connect to your website. And once the Tag Assistant is connected, or in other words, Preview Mode of Google Tag Manager, you will start seeing some data coming in right here. For example, here I just got a page view. Then the other option is to use a Google Analytics debugger extension. So if you have installed it, then you can go to the list of your extensions, click the icon so that you would start seeing on, and then refresh the page where you have GA4 installed. And then from that moment, you should start seeing the events here coming as well. And if you're not using Google Tag Manager and you don't have that extension, then another option could be to talk with a developer and ask the developer to include the debug mode parameter set to true if you're working, for example, on a test environment or you know maybe something like that. So this is up to you and your developers to decide when exactly should the debug mode be enabled. Because if you enable this for all your visitors, then it will be impossible for you to troubleshoot that because you will see hundreds or thousands of devices available right here. So if you have enabled Google Tag Manager Preview Mode, or you have enabled the GA debugger extension, or you're sending the debug mode parameter and debug view still does not show any data, then let's take a look at some of the reasons why you're having this. So the first reason might be that maybe you have enabled an internal traffic filter, and unfortunately it works not entirely conveniently, which means that if you have enabled the internal traffic filter, you will also exclude your traffic from the debug view. At least that's how debug view works right now. So if you go to admin, data settings, data filters, and you see that the internal traffic filter is active, it's very likely that this is causing the problem. But to be sure, you then have to go to data streams, select your website data stream, then configure tag settings, then click show all and define internal traffic. If you don't have any rules listed right here, then it means the debug view is not working for you because of some other reason that I will later explain in this video. But if you have some rules, you might have one, you might have multiple of them, then check them by clicking one by one and see if your IP address is listed right here. If you don't know how to check your IP address, just go to Google and enter what is my IP address and you will see that. So if you see your IP address included in one of the internal traffic rules and you also have the internal traffic filter enabled, which would be displayed as active right here, then most likely this is the problem why your debug view is not working. So you have mainly two options right now. The first one would be to maybe use some VPN service like NordVPN or maybe something else that would temporarily change your IP address just as long as you are testing your analytics implementation. So then you will start seeing your data in the debug view. And once you end your testing session, then you could disable the VPN service. Another option would be to temporarily disable the filter. So you can click right here and then set it to inactive or testing. And then you should wait for a minute, maybe a couple minutes. And then you should start seeing your data in the debug view. Of course, after waiting for those couple of moments, then you should browse your site to start sending some data. But keep in mind that if you have many employees in your company and they are all excluded with this filter, then Google Analytics will start collecting that data as long as this filter is disabled. So your data pollution will be larger. That's why maybe a VPN service could be a better option. Honestly, what I would like, and I was hoping that it should work like that, is that if I had the developer traffic filter activated, 
then I was hoping to see my data in the debug view. But right now, when the internal traffic filter is enabled, the developer traffic filter does not override it and I still cannot see myself. So it might be a good idea for you to play around with filters. Then another reason why your debug view might not work is because maybe you're using some browser extension that is blocking analytics tracking codes. For example, Adblocker, Ghostery, there are also some other tools that just block Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics by default. So since tracking codes are not activated, you cannot see yourself in the debug view. So check your extensions as well. It might be worth to temporarily disable all your extensions that you have and then see if debug view starts working. If it does, then start enabling your extensions one by one and see where the debug view stops working. And that will help you identify which browser extension is causing the problem. Or maybe your browser is blocking tracking. For example, if you're using Brave browser, it blocks analytics tracking codes and marketing tracking codes by default which means that obviously Google Analytics will not work and your debug view will not show data coming from your browser. So maybe a solution for that could be to use a different browser for debugging while Brave can still remain your main browser for everything else. Then there might be bugs in Google Analytics 4. For example, here I have some data and unfortunately there's still a bug that shows that I have zero debug devices. But if I click here, it will start showing the actual number of debug devices, or in other words, devices where I have enabled the debug mode. So if you see zero right here, try clicking this drop down, and maybe you will start seeing your device. Or maybe, you know, in the future, some other bugs will happen. So keep that in mind as well. Then another possible reason is related to server side tagging. And if you're using the Google Analytics debugger extension. So normally, this extension will add the debug mode parameter to all requests going to Google Analytics. However, if you're using server side tagging, all requests are sent not directly to Google Analytics, but they're sent to your own server first. You can check that by going to your Google Tag Manager container, clicking the G for configuration tag, and check if this checkbox right here is enabled. So if you see sent to server container, and then you see some subdomain of your business, then it means that you're using server side tagging. In that case, the Google Analytics debugger extension will not work. And subsequently, debug view will not show your data. However, there is a workaround for that. So you should go to the server side Google Tag Manager container that your business is using, then go to variables. And in the user defined variables section, click new, then variable configuration, and then find undefined value then name this variable, for example, like this, undefined, and then save the variable. Then make sure that in the built in variable section, you click configure and then you check the debug mode variable enabled right here. When you do that, then in user defined variables, click new variable configuration, and then find the lookup table. Here as an input variable, you should select the debug mode, and then add two rows. So if debug mode of Google Tag Manager is enabled, which means that its value is true, then this lookup table will return true as well. But if its value is false, then we want to return an undefined value. And this is important. If you enter false, this will not work. We need to insert the undefined variable. And then you save this variable, it can be something like lookup, debug mode, or debug view, whatever, and then click Save. I already have that variable. So it looks like this lookup debug mode. And then here's the input variable, here's the input true or false, and then true or undefined. Then go to tags and select your GA4 tag. Here, you should click on event parameters parameters to add edit, click add row and then enter debug mode, and then insert that lookup table variable. So what does it mean is that if you're using server side Google Tag Manager containers preview mode, then we will also send true with a debug mode parameter. 
In other words, as long as you have your server side preview mode enabled, you will see all events in the debug view coming from your browser. I know this is a bit technical, but that's how server side tagging works. If you want to learn more about server side tagging, then take a look at my intermediate slash advanced Google Tag Manager course. I will post a link to it below the video. Then another reason might be content security policy of your website, which is not updated and it blocks Google Analytics. So you can check that by going to your website, then click three dots, more tools, developer tools, go to console, and then refresh the page and look at various errors and warnings that you see right here. If you see an error that says something about content security policy and it includes Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics domain, then it means that content security policy is causing the problem. You cannot fix it yourself, your developers have to do that. So what your developers will need to do is that they have to update the content security policy with what is listed right here. So this is the documentation the official documentation of Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. And here are the instructions that your developers must follow. I will post a link to this documentation below the video. So just click the link, scroll down and keep looking for Google Analytics 4. And then the final tip of this video is that maybe on your website, your developers have implemented cookie consent pop-up. And if you as a visitor disagree, then maybe Google Analytics is configured to not be activated on this particular click. In that case, I would say that Google Analytics and Debug View work as expected. So if you want to test this hypothesis, you can try to clear your cookies in the browser, then go back to your website. And if you see this cookie consent pop up, click agree. Of course, while you have enabled GA Debugger or Google Tag Manager preview mode, and see if that starts showing the data in the Debug View. If none of these tips work for you, then take a look at the description of this video where I will post a link to a blog post about the same topic. There's a chance that I might have added some updates there. So maybe that blog post will help you. And that's how you can fix the debug view in Google Analytics 4. If none of these tips helped, then take a look at my blog post below the video. I might have some updates there. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or GA4, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.